Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we will reveal the channel's Honda CB500X and we'll take it for our first ever ride. Cue the intro. Okay, this is going to be exciting. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be dead exciting. If you've been watching this channel, you know that we've been on the hunt for a CB500X. Basically, we sold our old Triumph Bonneville off of the channel and we put up a load of bikes up to vote and the Honda CB500X won. We went out and we literally hunted and we found a bike. We bought it good old fashioned way on eBay while getting drunk and that sale fell through. We had to go back out and hunt again. But finally, finally, we have a absolutely awesome CB500X. Now it is done at just over 10,000 miles. It is a 2013 plate. There is a few extras that's already been put on the bike and there's some panniers now that have been ordered for the bike. But the, what this video is about is the reveal. The reveal of the channel's new Honda CB500X and its first ever ever ride. And I'm dead excited. I've ordered, like I said, some panniers for when we do some big trips and there's going to be lots of videos like some real uh, honest ownership videos of the bike. There's going to be some off-roading there is going to be some river crossings we're even going to drag it across to spain to the pyrenees the french and spanish side going up mountain trails doing some absolute nut stuff but that's all coming up in the future right now it's about the reveal and i'm pretty sure the subscribers and the patrons are dead excited to see this bike as much as i am so what we're going to do is we're going to do a reveal and then we're going to do the honest first ever ride opinion of the honda cb500x so i'm dead excited and i just want to crack on with this so ladies and gentlemen i'm very pleased and very proud to now show you the Honda CB500X. Enjoy this. Okay, so here we have the Honda CBX, and I tell you what, what a gorgeous looking bike. I mean, look at that. We've got the 47 brake horsepower engine. So that's 47 stallions they're putting there. Because this bike's got some decent, sort of decent pace. It kind of picks up really well. We've got a cool aftermarket fuel exhaust on. Gives it that little bit deeper, but it has the baffling. So it's not really loud, it just annoys you, but it has that really good rumble. Of course, it comes with the ABS, a standard on the front. That's also a really cool thing. But just look at it. It looks like a jet bike. Absolutely like a jet bike. It's just so cool. And then you've got like the standard clocks here. 
and it's dead simple you've got your my you've got your fuel there you've got your miles per hour there you've got the time you've got a rev counter and it tells you how many gallons or miles you've got left in the tank dead simple dead easy to use simple point of it as well is the controls are just standard honda obviously start you've got your warning lights there your kill switch there your horn your main beam and your indicators dead simple this has also got aftermarket um heated grips on as well and these work really well they get red hot really impressed with them the aftermarket side of things it has got an extra tooth on the sprocket as well that gives it a bit of extra power it's got the exhaust that will give it a bit of extra power as well it's also got a K&N air filter on it so it does pack a decent punch this bike but yeah I'm hugely impressed with it so far it's really cool but of course what we've got to do now is put it through its tests and its paces and first ride first opinions go on the Honda CB 500X Right, here we are, 47 brake horsepower, the Stallion, the CB500X, 0-60. to I'm excited to see what this powertrain is going to give us. It's, hopefully, it's going to give me a big smile. Let's find out. Ready? 0-60. to In 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> yes! Well, that's got some pull. That has got some pull. I'm not going to lie, it goes all right, that does. It's got a decent amount of chunk of acceleration to that. You can definitely feel it. Yeah, that's all right. That little 500 cc engine's got plenty of poke. Definitely got plenty of poke. It's not going to struggle. Definitely not overtaking. Definitely not holding that power either. Yeah, well done, little CB. Well done. First sort of real test of the, of the engine done there, and I'm quite happy with that. Okay, let's talk about comfortability. How, how comfortable is this bike? Well, straight away, it's a really lovely neutral position. There's no doubt about it. The seat itself, do you know what? I'd say it feels a little bit firm and hard. So I'd probably go down the gel route in the future or custom, but it's still comfortable. It's, it, it, I feel like I've got some back support way the seat goes up at the back. And that feels quite comfortable and like I said handlebars a nice neutral position this bike is an adventure bike so it has got that upright and um, what makes it dead cool for you to be able to do some serious mileage on without feeling absolutely knackered and I like that I like the feel of this bike it's got a nice smooth sort of pull and holding pace as well there's no loads of vibrations coming through it so you're feeling dead comfy and it's exactly what you want from a bike that comfortable kind of feel so yeah comfort level is definitely there on the cb500 i can see myself doing some serious miles on this without any kind of issues at all okay let's talk about suspension and seat height so it's got an 810 millimeter seat height i can easily flat foot this bike it feels me with confidence knowing that i can do that the suspension itself it's pretty good for a person that's sort of medium weight, kind of that slightly kind of chubby, okay, a little bit fat lad. I can feel the suspension, soak it up quite nicely. Every sort of lump and bump in the road, it does a really good job. So the suspension on the bike for me is pretty impressive. It does exactly what it says on the tinner standard. They moan about it having front suspension drop. I'm not finding that. For me, it feels really, really good. So far, first impressions, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's check out the handling. Let's see if it feels agile to ride. Let's just give it a go. I reckon it's going to be cracking, but I think that's a big thing for most people. So here we go then. We're going to give it a couple of beans, just enjoy a couple of bends, see what the agile of the bike's like. Let's go.
Okay, so for a first first ride, first on his pinions, for somebody that's literally jumped on it, not test ride it, I'm five foot eight. I'm obviously muscly and not fat. Okay, I am fat. And at five foot eight and a reasonable, you know, man, I fit on this bike perfectly. I am flat legging it. I've got a real good neutral position on the handlebars. It accelerates, you know, it's no rocket ship, but it accelerates really well. It holds it there. I'd say to with weight, it doesn't feel like an ultra lightweight bike in any means, but it feels agile, it feels very easy to handle, and it feels like something I can rock on and off of the centre stand. And if anyone gets what I mean about a centre stand, a big bike can be a real pain to get on the centre stand. This I haven't struggled with so far, and do you know what? It just works really, really well. I, like I said, it holds its speed, it's agile, I can get my feet on the floor, the suspension feels nice and firm, not too soft, not too rubbish, it soaks up the bumps, it ticks a billion boxes. So ladies and gentlemen, this Honda CB500, we're gonna put through more trials, more sort of things. We are going to literally ride it off-road. We're gonna do a big tour on it. We're gonna hopefully jump over people and all the crazy stuff that we do on this channel. We're gonna put it through a lot and a lot of hard work and see how much this can really handle. It's got standard road tires. We're gonna to have to get some off-road tires put on it. There's panniers for this bike put on order for the big tour. But at the end of the day, it ticks a lot of boxes. And do you know what? It's really good. I'm really impressed. What an awesome, little adventure bike and i say little it feels like a big boy to me anyway that's really cool well there you go that is the honda cb500x we've got it it is in the helmet head collection it is in the garage for all the crazy that stuff we're going to do and as you can see it's winter freezing and cold so we're gonna have some good fun on that sort of upcoming in the future i can't wait to get it down those green lanes off road getting it jumping over things putting off-road tires on it all the crazy adventures we're going to have it's it's exciting and what a bike. I mean, flat foot in it, it feels really good, it's dead comfortable, it has a great position. I'm dead happy with it, I really, really am, and I'm just looking forward to putting it through so many more trials and trivias and just see what we can do with this bike and where it can take us. So it's another one to add to the stable with the Monkey Cycle and the Honda Charity Vision bike that we bought, and of course we'll be adding hopefully more in the future. But yeah, how exciting. We've got coming up soon on the channel, obviously we've got to uh, finish off the race build, the stage three, the air intake on the Honda Monkey, so hopefully that will arrive soon and we can crack on with that. I just want to turn around and say a massive thank you to my patrons, you guys are absolutely awesome this channel could not be going without the support of these people their names are all in the credits thank you so much and if you're interested in supporting the helmet channel please click on that link you get to see the videos first and it really helps us also there is links all down there for things like the merchandise shop where you can buy the helmet head awesome mug the hoodies the t-shirts it's all down there click on those links if you're interested and then of course all there really is to say now is the three most important things in life and of course they are eat pie ride motorcycles and be happy. I will see you in the next crazy adventure. Bye bye for now. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head, wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had.